this is this is an event like uh, none of us have ever seen. You know. The National Weather Service is urging everyone to steer clear of our coastlines due to this tsunami advisory currently in effect. This is video from Pacifica earlier today. Strong surges of ocean water crashing onto the rocks and water spilling onto the sidewalks. It's dangerous to get out into the ocean today. Several local beaches and coastlines are closed now due to that tsunami advisory. Cronon's Camila Barco is joining us with a little bit more information on how this is impacting our beaches and what you can do to stay safe. Camila. Yeah, so Noel, we're learning that San Francisco is what is in what they call the green status. This means that there's no significant impacts from the tsunami at this time. And officials expect that there's not going to be any residential or business flooding. However, other parts of the Bay Area, like Santa Cruz, is already seeing some minor flooding. Emergency crews are still warning people to stay away from the coast today. Now, the tsunami advisory is due to the volcanic eruption in in the Tonga Islands. And there is some satellite image from space of the volcano erupting. It sent large waves crashing onto the shores of the Pacific nation of Tonga. It's also causing for some large waves in the Bay Area. Now, experts expect three foot waves on the coast, and that's why there is a tsunami advisory. This means that there's going to be some dangerous currents. You're taking a look at the conditions in Half Moon Bay. You can see that the waves a bit steady, but also a bit rocky. And so officials say that they, you should not let these, what looks to be calm waves fool you. The currents are strong just enough to sweep you into the ocean. Now the San Francisco Emergency Department is asking people to stay away from the beaches, the piers and the docks. Uh, Ocean Beach and the marina parking lots here in San Francisco are closed because of this advisory. Uh, San Francisco officials are also advising people to not drive. This will help keep the roads open for emergency vehicles. Now, if you are in a safe area, they ask that you stay there. But if you are on a beach, a harbor, a dock, or a pier, and you cannot evacuate, you should call 911 immediately. Like I said, the National Weather Service is urging people to listen to your local emergency departments because this is not usual. The more important factor in even higher danger to this is the undertow or commonly referred to rip current that's going to be associated to this. These can actually pull a grown adult into the water and you can become a victim, um, which nobody wants to be. So we're asking people to stay away from the coastline, stay out of the water. Now, Noel, we can expect the tsunami advisory to last at least until this afternoon. Those waves are going to be coming and going. And right now, if you know someone who is planning on going to the beach, the coast, the pier, the docks, the marinas, let them know of this warning just in case, just before they head out. Noel, back to you. All right, Camila, thank you for that. Again, the advisory expected to go on for another uh, handful of hours. So uh, today is, again, not the day to go to the beaches. Another big story that we 